Welcome to another episode of Jose Plays. It's been a long time. We're going to play Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Arcade and Sega Genesis. And what better time than now to celebrate the life of this really great man, Michael Jackson. Welcome back. It has been over a year since I've done one of these. Hopefully you don't say anything stupid. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but it's a good nervous. I'm really excited to do this one. <laughs> it was like that. I thought it was that's not kind of cool. But cable's rattling. Uh, hold on. Okay. Just a little bit of technical difficulty. Sorry about that. All right, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This is uh. First of all, we got the three-player action here, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at that fucking dancing. Oh, that's that's dope. I always liked the guy in the black suit because he had the purple beam. And that, I always thought that looked kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this is this is the arcade version right here. Sega's uh, System 18 arcade board, if you're into that nerdy bullshit. <laughs> uh, you know what? Come on, let's just fucking go. Let's start playing. Let's some credits up in this piece. Let's fucking go all credits because I don't I don't want to run out. I, I don't know how often I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die a lot. Fucking booing. <laughs> Jesus. It's funny. Oh my god. And you know, off the bat, it's weird because that's Mr. Big flying in that thing, and he's played by Joe Pesci in the movie. This is based off of a movie, by the way. <clears throat> in the but it like you know in the movie he's he's kind of like hey, I'm Joe Pesci yeah hey oh sweet bubbles turns you into a fucking robot how awesome is that this game so like I said this is based off of a movie Joe Pesci plays the bad guy he has two distinct voices at the beginning which is weird he has this ha 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 high pitch left and then he's like oh never catch me which I never understood bubbles turns you into a fucking robot because uh, for some reason in the movie, in addition to turning into a car, Michael Jackson turns into a robot. I mean, I don't know what the fuck kind of weird ass. I <laughs> love that part. That ow! W fucked up shit that Michael was was smoking or was into. That he came up with that whole idea. But I mean, like, uh, he also designed the game, and so there are certain elements from the movie that are in the game. But then there are other, you know, peculiarities that are in the game that are not in the movie. Although the game itself is very, in my opinion, very much caught up in the whole Sega aesthetics. Oh shit, we got a lot of people. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Oh, look at the fucking move. Oh, look at the uh, the uh. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, see, like, the soldiers, those those dudes were in the movie. The the, the, the guys in the trench coats, Michael. they weren't in the movie. Uh, the little girl was in the movie. Because he, like... I don't know if you guys uh, had, have ever heard this, but apparently Michael Jackson really loved children. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, he's got, you know, saving children all over the fucking place. Uh, he's got the robots. Those robots, their faces kind of look like the blue meanie. Those guys were not in the movie. And I guess the the guys in the suits are supposed to be like holdovers from the, the Smooth Criminal video. Like that actual thing. Because the Moonwalker thing itself is essentially like 
the, the short film version of the, the Smooth Criminal video. It's like the whole fucking Smooth Criminal video was kind of based around that. And wait, what the fuck is that? <sighs> the signs were there all along. Hmm, he's clearly groping that child. I mean, I you can't tell if it's a little boy or a girl. Like, it being a little girl would make it better. <laughs> oh, look at these guys! Oh, I want to stab them! <laughs> look at these stabby peats just swinging and stabbing. That's all I know! <laughs> Jesus, guys, you're gonna hurt somebody. Oh, I think I feel another fucking dance coming on. Let's do this shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Look at the fucking robots! Getting funky with it, just like, uh, getting their fucking backs into it. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, speaking of all this, I, I guess uh, Michael Jackson's been in the news lately, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, but actually, before I even get to that, I, I want to, I kind of wanted to say some more nerdy shit about this, uh, this, this Moonwalker thing, like the, uh, the arcade shit that, uh, because I know, like, when, uh, What's his face does his one credit champ videos, uh, M Minsky. You know, he likes to divulge all that nerdy shit. I guess a lot of people like that. That's what you're watching this video for, right? Not to hear me talk about Michael Jackson touching little boys or anything. It's about, you know, the arcade shit. Uh, but I actually, this is kind of interesting to me. So, this game uh, was one of, I guess, many. Oh, Bubbles, come here. I was about to do the, come here, bubbles, come here. I want a carrot. Anyway, uh, do chimps eat carrots? Yeah, they eat carrots. So, anyways, uh, according to ArcadeCollecting.com, this game right here, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, was one of like I guess uh, is that a fucking vacuum cleaner? <laughs> a few different um, arcade. Sega, Sega arcade games that utilize what's called a suicide battery. N don't fall asleep just yet. No, no, just hold on. Stay awake just a little bit more because this, re this really is interesting. So a suicide battery... <laughs> a suicide battery is basically, according to... Um, well, according to ArcadeCollecting.com, they say about suicide batteries, several arcade game manufacturers decide would be a good idea to put a battery on their arcade game motherboards that, when they die, and they will die, disable the game. That, I mean, isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess there's no real reason why they, they implemented this. Uh, some people think it might have been the combat piracy. Which, I mean, I mean, I, I guess, like, the idea is if like, uh, oh, come to me, children. <laughs> what uh, hold on, I, what song? What song is in this one? I can't remember if this is. Yeah, this is bad. I like this one. I have to turn the volume up slightly. Oh, I just seem to do that little shaman. I like it. But uh, yeah, the uh, some I guess like if if you wanted to play the game, you would have to have the battery, and if the battery was not there, then you couldn't fucking play it. Yeah. But yeah, on to uh, this other Michael Jackson business. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen Leaving Neverland. I saw it. It's, it, it was like a four hour documentary. Uh, it was. If anybody has it, uh, it's on HBO, the HBO app. You can check it out on there. If, if you want to. Watch it if uh, you're a Michael Jackson fan and you want your opinion of him to be changed drastically. <laughs> then yeah, it's worth checking out. Although I mean, so here's the thing: is uh, you know, it, this is the thing: is that it's weird that we still have to refer to uh, the uh, accusations and the victims as as alleged because like the uh, the documentary like makes it seem like he really did that shit. And it actually not only uh, makes it seem plausible that he might have actually um, molested these two guys when they were children, but that, uh, like, they, the one family paints him as a fucking life owner. Like, uh, I mean, I, I don't really want to 
spoil it for anybody who might want to see it, but like the the Australian kid, like his whole family was pretty much devastated. And then the other guy, oh, thanks for running me over, car. <laughs> and then the, the other guy, uh, who was American, I mean, I think he still definitely is. He, even throughout the entire movie when he's being interviewed, he, as an adult, it still seems like he's, like, very vulnerable, and, yeah, so, I mean, it, to me, well, I guess the thing about me, to be honest with you, I never really disbelieved that he was, that he might have molested boys. You know, I mean, because he, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if it's just kind of like our whole society of like sensationalizing things or or what it is but I mean I it's just like what the fuck I just realized there's a giant dick mech <laughs> on the fucking uh, on the game what in the fuck kind of Michael Jackson probably designed that dick robot oh my god Michael I mean you, it's just like it's almost like a cry for help <laughs> you know I mean I guess it's shit like that that uh, <laughs> makes me, uh, you know, kind of, kind of made me believe that yeah, it, it was possible. But that's the thing is like, I, I guess like, t to me it just because he was always kind of a, a strange guy that it's like, well, I mean, I don't want to rule it out. And also, it's just like it to me, it just seemed believable, you know. But I mean, I don't know. Like it's weird because I also. And, and I, I also I did also hear a rumor. There's this uh, gossip writer guy named Ian Halperin that uh, made these claims one time. I think it was on O and A, Opie and Anthony, the Opie and Anthony show when that was still on, was still on. That uh, my, MJ he used to actually take trips to Las Vegas, where he would actually live later on with his children. And I, I guess he was actually neighbors with Carrot Top. <laughs> but. Uh, Apparently, he would actually take trips to Las Vegas periodically to fuck men, you know, and that uh, Ian, Ian Halperin alleged that he, uh, MJ, was actually not so much a pedophile, but he was, like, just a, a gay man. Like, he was a homosexual man who was attracted. Now we got fucking robot dogs? Oh, okay, I get it. This is, we're, uh, this is, like, uh, Junkyard Jim, and we're in, in, uh, invading his junkyard, and he's sending his armored dogs after- Well, there's more than one Junkyard Jim. Oh, look at him. Look at him fucking go. He can- he can, he's got some moves. Let's get the ha, ha, hit, ha, <laughs> And he's shrunk. That was kind of strange. Like, that's the only strange thing about this game. Not the fucking dick robots, but the Junkyard Jim shrinking after he's done dancing. But yeah, this the Ian Alperin guy had alleged that he uh, was actually just a grown homosexual man who actually did not molest little boys, but had sex with other men. And uh, he even threw in a oh, he also liked it when uh, men dressed up as women and he'd fuck them in dresses, you know, kind of shit. Michael. You know, and I mean, <clears throat> I guess yeah, you know, he's kind of a Michael Jackson was always kind of effeminate, and I guess. That's believable too, but I mean, to me, that was always kind of a stretch. You know, the uh, him being a, a guy who went and oh, bubbles. It's fucking, it's a robot time, Nugu. <laughs> wait, how come he didn't turn into a robot? Oh, wait. Did I not get bubbles? Bubbles. What the fuck, bro? You gonna make me fight Mr. Big without as a human? Jesus Christ, bubbles. But, it, oh, dance time. But basically, I mean, I, the only reason why I don't necessarily believe that he took trips to Vegas to fuck him in is because, you know, like, I mean, when, when are you going to find the time? Seriously. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Look at it. Like, you're, you're fucking little boys all over your ranch. That's also a theme park. You're uh, fitting in record set, recording sessions with Teddy, Riley, Biggie, and Shaq. You're helping to compose the Song of the Hedgehog 3 soundtrack. Yes, it's a thing. Look it up. How do you fit in Flight of Vegas and Fuck Men in Dresses and still tour? You know? So, yeah. I mean, gay men, meh. 
never really bought it, but Pedo, yeah, I kind of always assumed. Or didn't always rule it out. Which is crazy, you know, because, like, when you, when you think about it now, I mean... You just gotta think that, you know, like when he's saying, Hey pretty baby with the high heels on. He was probably talking about a little boy. Probably a toddler. <laughs> when, uh... When he was like, uh... Your butt is mine. <laughs> yeah, probably a little boy as well. From the vacuum cleaners again. It's like when uh, George Michael came out as gay and he's saying, I want your sex. It's like, oh, he's talking about a guy. You know, and when he's saying, last Christmas I gave you my heart. It's like, oh, he's talking about a guy. Oh, a guy broke his heart. <laughs> I mean, all that... I know this is going to make me sound like a bad person. Uh, and I, I'm really sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But I mean, that never really ruined the music for me, you know? I mean, I, I, can, I can separate the artist from the music. Or, yes, wait, I totally fucked that up. <laughs> <clears throat> what I meant to say was, I can separate the uh, artist from the shitty acts. You know? I mean, look at it this way like, Hitler <clears throat> loved dogs. And he's the reason why we drive on highways. That example. And I am sorry. I apologize for saying that. Let's move on, shall we? So... Well, we, one thing you'll find kind of interesting about this level, which was carried on over into, I guess, the Genesis level, is that this is... We got zombies... Wow, fast zombies. Jesus, these are like 28 days later zombies. And vomiting zombies? That also shrink. Holy shit. But, uh... <laughs> the, uh... There, it's... Hey, you would think... What, what better song to play... For this level in a Michael Jackson game than... Another part of me, right? Well, there's a, a good reason why exactly they don't play Thriller, but I'll uh, I'll probably talk about that a little bit later. Are we gonna make? I think it's about time to make these motherfuckers dance. Yes. What in the fuck are those? They look like they hate music. <laughs> it looked like they were in total fucking pain, like listening to that shit. Like make it stop. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've actually, I, th I think it's worse now, to be honest with you, for, because of Michael Jackson, but I've gotten shit in the past before, you know, when I've told other people that, like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm capable of separating the artists from their private life, because, like, on a milder note, I remember, I have pissed off a lot of people, or got, or they're, they just thought I was fucking nuts. For so long because I still loved uh, Kanye West and his music <laughs> I mean uh, not I mean like I never really uh, like I guess like when he came when he was starting to come out with uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy or the fuck that album's called like when he was really starting to fucking lose his mind, like that's when I was kind of like, man, this motherfucker's losing his mind. I, I can't even really. But his, his music's fucking amazing. Like that album. Oh, pardon me. Maybe I should cut that out. It's probably gonna stay in. <laughs> I uh. I mean, I, I love that album, and I've I've liked a lot of his his work since. I even like some of the uh, the Pablo shit. Uh, I didn't really like any of those last ones he did except for Kid Sees Ghost, but, I mean, that's what everybody thinks. But, I mean, like, yeah, his, like, personal life thing is, is, okay, hold on. Wait, sorry. I'm just, what in the fuck is this shit right here? <laughs> well, I'm, I, at first I was, 
His voice is like funny. We got three giant pulsing phallic pumping thrusting tubes that are shooting out or jizzing out ghosts. Like they, it looks like they're jizzing ghosts. And my and Joe Pesci does not sound like that. What is with the fucking all the phallic imagery? I mean, I know what the fuck is up with it, but still, it's like, was anyone? Where are these Japanese artists? Like, man, where the fuck is this? Like, I mean, people think that we're fucked up with all the goddamn tentacles. They're like, this is some fucked up shit. Thank you for joining me for part one of the Michael Jackson Moonwalker Trilogy. Stay tuned for parts uh, two and three. Like, no shit, right? That comes after one. Anyway, subscribe, follow, peace out.